Hello and welcome to Shore of Sir's classes. Today we will be doing an advanced topic on sequences, which is called the Boljano Weierstrass theorem. This is called the Boljano Weierstrass theorem. The theorem states that every bounded infinite set of real numbers real numbers has at least one limit point now i won't be doing the full proof but i'll show you how do you remember the proof and how to understand the proof now let a this is step 1 let a be a subset of r be bounded be bounded bounded which implies that there exists an m greater than 0 for which there exists um um, an interval minus m to m closed now we divide this interval into two parts essentially we are dividing a we are dividing a into two parts so just do that so we divide divide minus m comma m closed into minus m comma 0 and m I mean 0 comma m just let me wipe that out 0 comma m so at least one a1 let this be a1 this division be a1 so at least one one a1 contains infinitely many points infinitely many points many points observe that the length of that the length of observe observe length of a1 least one a1 so that you don't get confused uh, observe that the length of a1 is equal to 2m by 2 now continue this inductively continue inductively To find that, to find that a k has a, or rather is a closed interval, a closed interval of length of length. 2m by 2 to the power k which is equal to m by 2 to the power k minus 1 and this contains infinitely many points on to the next page but we know but we have but we have a n is contained in I mean a n plus 1 I mean a n plus 1 is contained in a n and if a n is equal to closed a n comma b n then limit n tends to infinity 
b n minus a n equals limit n tends to infinity m by 2 to the power n minus 1 equals 0. Now, now by Cantor's theorem of nested intervals by Cantor's theorem on nested intervals we have the intersection of n minus n equals to 1 to infinity the infinite intersection of a n has exactly 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 one point let this be p now p belongs to a n p belongs to a n and length of this is the next step of oh, oops length of a n a n is equal to m by 2 to the power n minus 1 which is less than epsilon now once you have your p we have let epsilon be greater than 0 be given choose n now choose n so that 2m by 2 to the power n is equal to m by 2 to the power n minus 1 which is less than epsilon and now we have p belonging to a n and length of a n length a n is this which implies p minus epsilon to p plus epsilon open and p minus m by 2 to the power n minus 1 comma p minus plus m by 2 to the power let's just shift this up n minus 1 this is contained in this interval and which in turn and this contains this contains a n therefore therefore needless to say p minus epsilon and to p plus epsilon contains infinitely many points of a n or other of a since let me just rub this out infinitely many points of a since a n does that so a n does right so since this we have arrived at this this proves that p is a limit point and p is at least one limit point of every bounded infinite subset of r please note the terms let me just go up please note the terms bounded infinite set of real numbers which is actually a subset subset of r right that's it for today thanks for watching